Hello everyone. I wanted to jump on and do another impromptu live. I want to pop on more and more for you guys, but today I want to talk to you about the relationship bank account and why you need it in your life and why it's such a cool concept and something that continues to blow my mind every single day because you can just literally apply this concept to anything. So basically I want to teach you about the relationship bank account and what it is and how you can use it with your horse. Okay, and not only with your horse, but in any area of your life. So basically what a relationship bank account is, it's basically like a normal bank account, but this time we're not adding dollars into it. We're adding sort of good feelings. So you can either add good feelings or you can detract from this bank account by taking away good vibes, right? So with our horses together, we form a relationship with them. So it's us and them. And we want to make sure that that relationship is feeling nice and juicy and healthy and really positive, okay? So to make sure that that relationship is feeling really positive, we can make sure that we are adding to that relationship bank account by doing things that our horse likes, that we both enjoy together, okay? Because often it's really easy to get caught up in just doing things that our horses like and then our relationship detracts because we're feeling good about what we're doing, but our horse doesn't really like it, okay? So the best way that we can make sure that our horses are enjoying are enjoying what we are doing with them as much as we are enjoying with them is to also add in things that our horse enjoys doing too. So it's really, really important to have a nice balanced relationship because if you were just hanging out with someone who only did things that they liked all the time, you're going to start to get resentful about what you're doing with them and the time that you're spending with them because it just doesn't feel good. Whereas if you go, okay, sometimes we do things that I like and sometimes we do things that you like or Ideally, let's do things that we both like together and make it a really collaborative relationship. Then it's going to feel really, really good. So with our relationship bank account, there are activities that add to the relationship bank account and there are activities that detract from the relationship bank account. So activities that add to the relationship bank account in this case would be activities that our horses like. So um, scratches, maybe food rewards, positive reinforcement training sessions, hanging out, going for walks, those sorts of things that just feel good for our horses or if there are any activities that your horse just really loves to do, those sorts of things. Um, and if you have a bit of a shutdown horse, sometimes this can be hard to figure out what they actually like, but just trust that as you spend more time with them doing things that they seem to feel comfortable with, they will start to come out of their shell the more time you take to listen to them. So you will get to know over time. So yeah, start to add more things that your horse really loves to do into your routine. And that will boost up your relationship bank account so that then if you were in a situation where you had to do something with your horse that perhaps they didn't like so much, so putting them on the float and having to take them to the vet or dressing a leg injury or maybe you have a hard lesson or maybe something happens where they don't really enjoy it, then your relationship is not going to go into this negative territory in regards to your bank account, your relationship bank account, because you've already added in all these positive vibes so that when you have to do something with your horse that they might not like as much, you're not going to detract so much from your relationship that it's going to be detrimental. Okay? So... The takeaway here is make sure that you're adding a lot of things that your horse likes to do in the time that you spend together so that it's not always just about doing things that you like. We want to make sure that they like the things too so that they feel happy to spend time with us and are enjoying the sessions as much as we are. Okay, so that's really, really important. And once that relationship bank account stacked, then we can, we've got a bit of wiggle room to kind of mitigate um, things dipping too low should you have to do something with your horse that they might find really hard or might not like. Okay, and that's just the reality of it. So we can always add things in there. Now, I just want to take things another layer deeper and go, okay, we've got this relationship bank account analogy where if we're doing things that feel good with our horses, that boosts up their relationship and makes everything feel better versus if we do things with our horses that don't feel good, then that takes away from our relationship and makes things feel worse. Okay, so we can also apply that same principle with anything in our life. 
okay? I just had a coaching call with some of my amazing clients and one of them has an interesting relationship with putting the helmet on, right? So whenever she puts her helmet on, she starts to feel anxious and things like that, especially when working with her young horse. So in this instance, anything that you have an interesting relationship with, whether it's an object, a person, an animal, a thing, we can work on the same principle, okay? So if in this instance with the helmet, she can start to do more activities or make the helmet be more positive, okay? So do more things where the helmet um, doesn't correlate with doing something that's hard or doing something that feels uneasy or doing something that directly involves getting on. You could just start to incorporate, okay, let's just wear the helmet during my normal groundwork sessions where I feel good, right? Or often people will, you can use this analogy with um, float or trailer loading. How can you make the float or the trailer the best place to be if your horse doesn't really enjoy being there? Okay, so you can start to hang out around the float or the trailer. You can start to do positive reinforcement sessions near the float or the trailer. You can start to make it the best place ever to boost up that relationship bank account with that object so that when the time comes, should you need to do something or put them on the float if there's a fire or take them to the vet or whatever, you're not going into this negative territory so that when you have to put them on after, they're going to feel really bad about it or you can pick them up really quickly if they do feel a little bit negatively about it, right? And another way I want to talk to you about expanding this relationship bank account concept into other areas of your life is one that really hit me hard this morning is we're constantly striving for connection, right? We want to not feel so alone. We want to connect with other people and things like that. And during current situations in the world at the moment, we have less and less opportunities to interact with people in person, okay? And what we do have is social media right at our fingertips, okay? But how often are we using social media in a way that doesn't feel healthy or we're blaming social media um, because we don't feel good when we use it or we feel like we're not connecting with people and all of these things. We're blaming technology on this when in reality, that's complete BS. Okay. If we want to, we can improve our relationship bank account with social media so that we can have more connection than ever in our lives. Okay. And how do we do that? We be more intentional about the time we spend on social media. So when you're scrolling through your feed, read every caption, like every post, comment on everything that you see, engage with people. We're all humans behind the screen, okay? And I, in fact, love communicating with you guys. And if you guys are really seeking connection, you're seeking like-minded people, which I know a lot of people in a horsemanship realm are, this is a really great way for you guys to connect with people that are very similar and like-minded from all around the world doing amazing things. Just connect with the person behind the screen. They're right there waiting to connect with you. And you can use this relationship bank account principle. Like I said, if you're feeling a bit ugh about social media and it detracting from your life, think about all the ways you can make it feel better and make it add to your life so that you can have that connection you want. And then you can feel good about the time you spend on there. You can learn new things. You can, ne- you can connect with new people. And that's going to add to your life. And when you're feeling better, you're going to be more happier around your horse. You're going to be happier in life and you're just going to feel good all round. So I just wanted to add that note because that was a little like mind blown moment this morning when I was like, holy moly, I can add this relationship bank account principle to literally anything that doesn't feel good in my life or isn't where I want it to be. How can I make it work for me? How can I improve the feelings about doing that certain thing? Or if my horse has issues with something, how can I make them feel better about that thing and make it the best place ever? It's up to us. We are totally in control in these situations to make that happen. Sometimes it does take time. Sometimes it does take effort. But when you set those foundations and you, can, and you create those new habits, that pays off so much in the long run and it's really, really powerful. So... That's what I just wanted to share with you guys today. I want to know, yeah, thank you for commenting. So true, 100%. Thank you. So glad I watched this. Absolutely. Anything that you feel victimized by in your life or your horse feels victimized in their life, you need to work out how to make that thing more positive for them or you. And you are in control of doing that. It's just 
flipping the switch and not allowing yourself to be a victim by that thing or that situation. And if they're feeling weird about it, making sure that you can make it the best place ever and make it really positive. Yeah. So I want to hear in the comments, is there anything after watching this video that you think, oh, I could shift that relationship dynamic in my life using this principle or like I feel currently a bit victimized by this, this and this. Okay. That's what I'm going to work on shifting. Or if you had any insights, please let me know. I want to hear it. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you and I will chat to you all again later. Bye.